friends, relatives, strangers, and enemies, welcome to another episode of the Texas Conservative Channel, where I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic today, and I figured that I would share with MySpacers and YouTubers the reasons as to why I always vote Republican, and, and it's really not that hard to understand if you think about it, if you think about why the Republican Party is here. If you think about the flaws of the Democrat Party and how the flaws of the Democrat Party contribute in size to the Republican Party. The Republican Party grows because of the screw-ups of the Democrat Party. This is a center-right nation, not left. This is, this is not a liberal nation. This is, this is more a conservative nation than it is liberal. So, I know some of you understand what I'm talking about, friends and relatives. Some strangers might even understand it, and some strangers don't. And it's those strangers that don't, and the enemies that don't. And of course, they wouldn't be enemies if they did, so they're enemies because they don't. If they did understand me, they would be enlightened to the fact that the Democrat Party is screwed out of its mind. Screwed out of its mind because it is a party that thrives on large numbers of poor people. Think about that for a minute, people. Think, and, and, you know, don't get caught up in the emotionalism. Think about that for a moment. Would you, America? Would you think about it, please, liberal elitist establishment? And friends and relatives and strangers and enemies. If you'll think about that. A party that gets elected by poor people. Now, how is that? What well, must mean that there's a lot of people out there that get made to be poor. Well, why is that? It's because they're leaving. They're believing the Democrat Party's bullshit. How could a party that thrives off of poor people, that gets elected off of poor people, that uses helping poor people as their mantra, tell me that. Why, why was the Democrat Party ever want there to be anything but poor people? Well, if, if people quit being poor, and, and are able to pull out of being poor, then you have less poor people that can be milked into jobs into voting for the Democrat Party. So the Democrat Party has never did anything to help poor people, even though helping poor people is its mantra. You know, the, the mascot is fitting. A jack ass. That means stupid. Now, And analyzing all this, I go back in my younger days before I was really interested in politics. And I remember asking my relatives, who were registered Democrats? They were conservative Democrats. I like, I like it that America is strong. I remember telling them that when they understood this. And I came to learn, and it didn't, it didn't take much investigation and much listening to learn which party was against being, being free? Now, the Democrat Party and the people within it won't directly come out and say that. But if you look at their philosophy, if you look at their votes over the course of years, you can see that it is non-freedom. They are not consistent with the values of freedom. And I learned early and at a young age that the Democrat Party, I used to call it the Democratic Party, until I felt they were not worthy of such a slogan, because there's nothing democratic about them. There's nothing democratic about the Socialist Democrat Party in America today. The Blue State Socialist Party, the party that believes everybody's ass is tied together, the party that discourages individualism, and the party that discourages competition. Socialists hate competition. 
And so my interest in politics came about from learning the fact that the people within the Democrat Party talked the talk but did not walk the walk. That they may say they believed in freedom. They may say that they call themselves the Democratic Party. But when it comes to putting the metal to the meat, when it comes to the actual votes, when it comes time to put their money where their mouth is, they were simply unable to do it. Making him look like years worth of lying, stupid ass bastards. Of course they are. With a lying, stupid ass bastard on top right now in the White House. So, the Republican Party, which used to not be very big, grew in the 70s. Because more and more conservative Democrats more often and often voted Republican. I want to thank you for that, conservative Democrats. So, I understand that the failures of the Democrat Party is what led me to be the Republican I am, and I'm not the only one. It doesn't matter what my income is. It's a cultural belief. It is a, it is a sixth sense about the world today and America's position in it. And there's nothing neo about me. You motherfucking liberal elitists, all y'all can do is come up with the word neocon. Because you don't like strong, patriotic Americans. That's what they're calling us now. If you're patriotic, you're strong, you believe in America, if you kick enemies' asses, they're calling you a neocon. Because they've got no argument. Hell, they the liberals, the neo-libs, that's who they need to be talking about, it's the neo-libs. They're closer to neo than anything. They're the ones that believe everybody's ass is tied together. They're the ones trying to take up the gun. They're the ones fucking socialist bailout of all these, all these damn entities. Man, what the hell is going on? Stimulus, stimulus that's meant to be targeted for just people that work. People that pay taxes suddenly became a goddamn thing, and out it went. I mean, every motherfucker under the sun, and became part of the stimulus. That's not that doesn't stimulate jack shit, as y'all see. All that handing money out to lazy asses and good for nothing does is create more lazy asses and good for nothings. We burn through that money like a fucking hot knife through butter. How stupid can you get? And there's no way that such stupidity is going to avoid the scrutiny of this channel and of me, the dude that operates it. You get your heads out of your asses. The ones who do have your heads out of your asses, thank you for watching. America needs more people like you. If you got friends that got their heads up their asses, well, don't be afraid to tell them, man, asshole, get your head out of your ass. I've told people before, I've never got no fight over politics because I saw I call somebody a stupid son of a bitch. How do you tell me you like Bill Maher, Obama, and the Democrat Party? I said, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not lying. So, people, I like things Texas and I like things conservative. And I'm going to rant and rant and rant about the things that are liberal and are stupid. You know I'm here. I know that the people within the liberal elitist establishment know that I'm here and they're not liking me. I wouldn't be getting so many hits on YouTube. There's more to come. I'm keeping track of it. I'm keeping track of what's going on in the world. Now I've got more to say coming up in future episodes. That's right, folks. Stay tuned to the future episodes where I'm going to talk about my prediction that came true about the $27 trillion bill that Obama is going to have American taxpayer pay. He, he came up with a list of goodies from A to Z. It took me a while to add up, but I was right. I was just off a few trillions. But what the hell does that matter when, when you're talking trillions? I mean, Obama's taking us 
Ching to ching, I mean, in the red, and you can come up with some more red ink trucks because we are going in the red. And you can hear more about it here on the Texas Conservative Channel while we're keeping it real. Don't miss out, folks. See you on the next episode.